Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is Jesse here and I am back for a low vision spotlight game video. This one's going to be a little bit different because this is a game I'm going to say right up front. This is a game that is kind of um, mainstream wise it is unavailable to most people. You can't just go out and buy it. Um, and for anyone who asks, I'm not going to tell you where to get it um, <clears throat> because it was just sort of leaked onto the internet a couple weeks ago as I'm recording this. And I did finally uh, track down a copy. The only thing I will maybe give you a slight hint is, is uh, you might be able to find it archived somewhere. That's the only thing I'm going to say. But the, what we're going to be looking at today is a game that so many people have wanted to see for years. Um, we're going to be looking at the long-lost, almost completed, XBLA port of GoldenEye. Yeah, you heard me. Um, they were trying to do a Xbox Live Arcade version of GoldenEye, the N64 classic, just like they did with Perfect Dark. I mean, Perfect Dark was different because... That was an original um, franchise from Rare, so they can do whatever they want. Um, GoldenEye, of course, is a lot more complicated because you had Nintendo in there, you had the um, James Bond rights, you had all this stuff, you had so many parties coming together, and people just can't seem to think, you know, they just can't seem to figure out that, hey, people want this thing, even if we split uh, some revenue... Um, you know, earning some money is better than none. Um, I don't know, just licensing hell is what holds up so many projects, but we are playing this via, uh, an Xbox emulator. That is the only way that we are allowed, or that we can play it right now. Um, and I'm going to be using an Xbox, my, uh, Elite 2 controller here. Here we go. Check this out. This music, classic, and I gotta move this mouse out of the way. Oh, so many memories. I played the hell out of this in the dorms. This was a college game. Mario Kart, GoldenEye, and 1080 Snowboarding, man. Those were the three games that uh, our dorm, we just played the heck out of these games. And you can tell that things are already up a little bit. I mean, look at those chunky polygon characters, though. Man, how far we've come. I mean, I remember when this looked amazing. Like, they're 3D. Just, oh. And, and, I mean, these look better than the original N64. So, okay, good. The controller is working. So... Um, we're gonna, here's our main menu. We got these sort of case file looking things, these little dossiers. Um, that is your interface. Now I will say that the crosshair, <coughs> both on the menu and actually in game, cause you can do like a manual aim. Cause remember the N64 did not have two analog sticks. So, um, I'm just gonna go um, new mission or uh, so. Wait, what? Why did you reset? Excuse me. Hang on. That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> okay. There we go. I was like, what the hell? All right. Well, let's just go to the first level. Let's go to the dam. And the cool thing about GoldenEye and Perfect Dark, I covered that on the Xbox, Xbox 360 game Spotlight when I could mirror it to my PC. So check that video out on the Xbox playlist. But these games were so ahead of their time because, you know, back then it was a lot of, you know, Doom clones and, uh, you know, yeah, Duke 3D and the build engine games and stuff like that. But they, you have Agent, Secret Agent, and OO Agent right now. There is a 007 Agent if you manage to beat the OO agent. But in addition to, here's your summary text here. 
It's just going to kind of skip past all that. Um, because there wasn't, you know, you didn't have voice acting you did, on these cartridges. You didn't usually have that too much um, to save space. But um, the difficulty settings, like, it wasn't just, oh, guys, take more hit points. You actually have more objectives uh, and different objectives on higher difficulty settings, which is really a cool way to go. Because, you know, these were games where, like, oh, you have to, you know, rendezvous with another agent or destroy something or find something or avoid detection or whatever the thing might be. So here we go. We've got our... i got to turn this up on my headphones a little better. There we go. Oh, this is so... Oh, man. Playing this with two analog sticks is so good. Here's another cool thing you can do. So this is the new graphics. God, look at those textures. Ooh. Ooh. Those are still some low-poly textures, man. Or low, ooh, wow, that is blurry. <laughs> so that is our original, and now look at it. Those are way better. So we had our original before, and now look what they did. So this is the original. Yeah, that's blurry. And then you have, this is what it looks like. And I can just hit the right bumper on the fly and switch between them. So let's go. Uh, okay, I gotta remember the controls here. Don't mind me for a minute. All right, let's cross our bridge. Let's go into our tower here real quick. Man, I've wanted to play this for so long. Break the glass, because I can. All right, you some bitch, where are you? Oh. Okay, we got him. Now I can use my left trigger and then I can manually aim, but that's, for me, that's really hard because the crosshair really blends in. I'm just relying on auto aim right now, but I can, see, look at how thin that is. And that is one of the reasons I'm not playing on a higher difficulty is because if I wanted to do manual aim, I mean, that crosshair, I can see that it's red, but like in the heat of action, I just, I can't really see it that well. So, I mean, I'm just, I don't care, man. Just being able to play this even on agent is like, oh, just nostalgia, good controls. You know, I'm not, I mean, I got used to, to be fair, I got used to using the C buttons on the N64 controller, because what you did is you moved with the analog stick, and then you... and then you uh, used your... you had C up, down, left, and right, and you'd use your C buttons to look up and down and turn left and... or uh, strafe left and right. Um, that was... You, back then you had the... you would call it the golden eye control scheme, or if you... you <clears throat> the Turok control scheme would use all of the C buttons forward, back, left, and right for movement, and then your analog stick would be used just for aiming. So those were the two com fairly common control schemes for first-person shooters, first-person games, and even, I think even a couple third-person games might have had that. So let's go in... There we go. Hit our switch. Let the truck in. I got a sniper rifle here. There we go. That That's not too bad. I'm going to see. I know there's some dudes. There's going to be some dudes up in a tower here pretty soon. We're going to try to take them out. Okay, get the truck through. We'll just sneak on through ourselves. Now, is there a guy up? Ah, shit, he saw me already. Oh, we got a siren. Awesome. You know what? Screw this. Let's just... Oh, ha! Huh? Yeah, melee. Alright, let's just pistol this guy, whoever is out here. What do we got up here in, in our control tower? Any armor? Hey, 
It'll go away. <clears throat> Gotta love those canned, uh... Oh, these are just so, like, iconic death sounds. Ugh. <laughs> I mean, I hear them in other media, but, like, they always sound like Goldeneye to me. I just, every time I hear, when I shoot people, just listen to their sound. Like, and they're always in the same order, I think. So you can kind of tell, like, I don't know, it's just, they had, you know, they had pre-rendered death animations. They had, um, these series of, you know, death sounds. Um, okay, I think I need to go... Can I open this? Yes, I can. So, I think I would have to use a little device to hack into something before I got in here on a higher difficulty. It's been so long I don't remember. I just remember I have to dive off the dam in this uh, difficulty. Right, so here's our padlock. And this was pretty new back then, so again, I could... There we go. Open that up. Let's see if I can... Ooh. Yeah, there's a guy, but he's pretty far away. And you have kind of a look spring, kind of a... Like with the cursor. Got him! Oh, did it? No, I didn't get him. Now I did. All right, I'm almost out of ammo for that. Let's go back to our pistol. Let's stay all stealthy-like. As far as we can. We're going to head in here and just explore the dam a little bit. Because I could just go to the exit right now, but... No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. And uh, let's switch. There we go. There's our original. I keep forgetting to do that to show you... Yeah, I mean, look at look at that. You got the flat floor there. And then you get... Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hey, buddy. Yep, keel over. Oh, I was, I was watching that guy's corpse. Watching his death animation. And all of these boxes blow up. Oh, yeah, blow it up, guys. Ow! I'm not really paying attention to my health. I'm just having fun. God dang, man. Alright, somebody's shooting me from behind, I think, too. Blow that up. Anyone coming from behind here? Oh, yes, they are. All right, he's dead. Uh, that one right there. That is so golden eye. Catchy music too. I mean, kind of cool MIDI, you know? Ah, oh, we got a new gun. I like it. Want some too, son? Yeah, just finish keeling over there, bub. Okay. Oh, oh, <laughs> nice little barrel roll, buddy. Too bad it didn't help. So let's see what this looks like. Okay, there's the original. Eh, I, I mean, when this came out, I mean, this is... You know, you had Doom and Wolfenstein on the Super Nintendo and other systems. There were a couple first-person shooters in the 16-bit era, but none of them, you know, I mean, they were often inferior ports or just wannabe kind of cash-ins for the most part. There were a couple here and there that were all right, but I think GoldenEye and Turok are the first games that really solidified, like, hey, you could actually do... Not only first-person shooters on a console, but you can kind of do things a little bit differently. You don't have to stick to the Doom formula. Not that the Doom formula is bad, it seriously kicks ass, 
but you can do something different and you're using different like control schemes you're kind of slowing because you know doom quake they were all really like twitchy shooters this is more of like a you know there's a little bit of stealth there's a little bit of um you know you got your mission objectives it was just kind of a different way of thinking about things and uh i i love it eat it and um i would say oh what the hell oh you hiding behind your boxes punk um but yeah i mean you had all these different types of shooters starting to happen goldeneye and turok dinosaur hunter i think are the two games that really kind of said hey we can do something here and then <clears throat> and then the next step logically was halo halo i mean goldeneye was all about multiplayer local multiplayer and then you had uh, Halo that did the system link thing. We didn't have Xbox Live right away on the original Xbox. And okay, is there somebody? Oh, there is. Hi. Thanks for joining the party, sir. Um, I will serve you a bullet. Yeah, just switching back. I love the fact that you can switch. I really wish more games did that. I know it's probably a little bit of extra work, but it's just, it's really cool to be able to go back and see, you know, there was that Wii GoldenEye game that they, they said, oh, we're going to do a spiritual remake or spiritual successor. And I played like the first two or three levels. That game was kind of ass. I'm not going to lie. I did not like it at all. Because, I mean, it just didn't feel right at all. Like, it was... I don't even know how to describe it. It... I think you had the dam. I mean, I, I remember, like, there was, like, this whole stealth sequence and you snuck in with another agent or something. The facility was nothing like the original. I mean, we're going to get to the facility very shortly. That's my favorite level in the game. Uh, I just, for some reason, I just, I love that level. I love the music. Um, God. Man, this game was so good. It's, you, you look at it now and sure, it's probably pretty antiquated in a lot of ways. But, damn it if this game isn't cool. This game is really cool. And I'm so glad. I, I know there were emu ways to emulate and play it or whatever, but like... You know, they have GoldenEye Source, which is just multiplayer. Uh, here's our exit. We'll just uh, hop on down. Whee! Um, I'm just, I'm just so glad I can play this. Um, and it sucks that the leaks happened, but, you know, at the very least, if companies are going to be greedy and not work together, you know, I kind of have to say fuck them, you know, if, if we can get out the, um, you know, if fans can do what billion dollar corporations can't because they can't get along and can't see that people want something, um, you know, there are so many, like I said, licensing, there are so many things out there that could happen, but no, we can't license that. Now, there is a bug here. We should be hearing that music that you heard on the before, that da da da. Um, I don't know why. The music doesn't always play here. Uh, it should. You should be hearing that kind of menu music that you originally heard. Um, I don't know why that doesn't always play. So here we go, the facility, my favorite level. Oh, it's so good. Sneaking into the vents. Now, again, if I hit pause, I love how they added, like... They made the watch itself, because Bond has his gadgets, and you even do use the watch in some levels. Uh, there's a watch magnet in a prison level. 
there is a um, watch laser, which really sucked. Trying to use the watch laser at the end of the train level. Oh, God, I struggled with that one for so long. Mainly because, not that it was hard, but by that point, my analog sticks were worn down for so much use, and it was so hard to kind of, you had to do this aiming really fast. And you just, so you have all these different sections, like you get your settings, your objectives. Here's your objective screen that you can look at, incomplete, incomplete, you can fail them. Um, but like, yeah, it was just so, like, I don't know, I just had so much trouble with it. All right, we're going to enter into the bathroom here. We're going to sneak through the vents. I love the, just the stealthy sort of music. We're going to go with silence as much as we can. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hey! Punk ass. Ah, oh, I missed. <laughs> I just love watching the reaction. Okay, we got him. I think there's one in here. Peekaboo! There we go. You're dead. Hope you just finished taking a dump, because that was your last one. Okay. And these levels felt real. You know, like, they, they felt like real places. There's a lot of abstractness to... That's what I like a lot of the Duke Nukem games and stuff, too. Like, you're going through the... Um, like the first two levels, especially, you got the theater, you've got the bookstore, you've got the strip club. But this just feels like some sort of facility. This feels like some sort of place. You know, it actually kind of makes sense. It's not just like some weird random architecture that plays well for a cool level. Like this kind of makes sense to me. Yeah, this it's just got this whole stealthy vibe to it, this music. Got a good beat. Oh, I just, I love this game. I love this. Later levels get to be pretty hard. Got my armor now. That's where they introduce armor. So if I pause again, <clears throat> you see on the left-hand side, your, your health, and then the blue, the side on your right is your armor. So I don't have much, but I've got some armor now. I always love doing this. Yeah, break it. Oh, shit. Hey, do you mind? Somebody's trying to, like, break your uh, beakers here. Punk. I clipped him through the door. All right, let's look at the original here. Wait, what? Okay, why aren't you switching? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You kind of couldn't tell really well at first. Okay. So this, I believe, is the original. The weird thing is, yeah, because look at the modern, there's like, it's flat texture up on the upper wall, or it's like a flat color, um, but then it's kind of got a stripey look, like vertical stripes in the new one. I kind of like the old better. I mean, there's more detail, but I kind of like the way that the old style looked a little bit better. Um... But let's go in here because we gotta hit a switch. I like the new computer terminals. They look more real. We gotta go in here. We gotta race in because this door, that switch unlocks this door. Hey, buddy. Oh! I love it. So good. I think there's going to be... Let's see. They don't come yet. I think... Oh, wait. No, they're coming, I think. No? Here we go. I knew they were coming eventually. Some guys should have sneak up behind you. Eat it. All right. Grab your ammo. So now we're into the secure part of the facility. Ow. <laughs> Sounds. No, you're innocent. Go on. Go on. 
We're, not, we're supposed to minimize civilian casualties. Got our big uh, tanks of whatever hell we're in here. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I mean, look at the... Look at, there's the original, the way the things look. That looks pretty good, actually. I like the way, I like the way those consoles look. They just look a little bit more real. Like the buttons, they got some little blow, glowy lights there. That's not bad. I like that. I like what they did with the consoles. Jesus, what's going on here? We got doors opening everywhere. Anybody else coming? F oh, shit. Okay, we got that guy. I know there's going to be a guy over here. I think just... Wait, what the hell? Oh. Yeah, you do your little sidestep. I'll still kill you. I knew there's a guy there. We've got a couple guys in here. Okay. Got two more terminals. I think on the higher difficulties, you do need this one. On agent, you don't. On agent, you can just go in this one here we're going to unlock the door on our left oh this music yeah oh wait there's where the hell <laughs> Oh, running out of ammo for that one. All right, time to bring out the big guns. That gun looks really weird. It looks even weirder there. I always thought, like, this one actually looks a little better in the new version, but, like, the old one, it almost looks like a... Almost looks like a marker, or like a... I, I don't know, it just... It looks weird for a gun. I always thought that one looked a little different. Got a couple dudes back here that we're gonna gun down. Just for safety's sake. And that guy. And that guy. Oh, Sonny. There we go. Kill three is. Now we're going to get to the labs. I like how they lose their hats sometimes. I mean, like I said, this game was really ahead of its time in a lot of ways. I mean, they put a lot of a lot of uh, effort into this. I mean, just the mission objectives, you know, like the, the subtle details of like, oh, they lose their hats. Or like, you know, back then they didn't have Ragdoll. So again, you had these pre-canned death animations and stuff. Like even Perfect Dark had those. Um, but it's just a really fascinating look back at a console shooter and I my ultimate hope would be that you know by now of course they know because I've seen a lot of people stream this or do videos of it um, I, I don't know I mean I would love to see them be like well god you've got this thing like 90 95 percent of the way there there are a few graphical and sound issues or a few uh, things here and there that people have pointed out, but like I mean It's fully playable from start to finish the single-player campaign is so You know having this out Leaked in its unofficial form. I wish that the companies would be like, you know people are really wanting this like Obviously, you know people are streaming it people are playing it Let's capitalize on it and release this in some official channels, because, you know, like I said, by us finding it the way we did, you know, through the leak, they're not earning anything. Like, they could have just released it and actually made some money, but no, nope, you know, they, they're not. So, um, I wish they would collaborate and cooperate. So, we're going to rendezvous with our dude, and we got to put some stuff... Put one here, put one here, 
Put little mines on there. Get out of my way, Agent 06. I got some blowing up to do. Okay, now, I, I, I only get that many. Get your ass over here so you don't get killed. Come here, buddy. And it'd be cool if they added, like, optionally, like, having voice acting. Be cool if they did. Okay, let's blow these. Yeah, blow them up. Get ready to get out of here before it gets poisony. There we go. And you got to make sure to get them all. That's why I put them in the middle. So it hits all eight of them. And there you go. We lack the music again, which kind of sucks. But you see complete, 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 complete. And it tells you, like, your... Uh, your headshots, your accuracy, all that kind of stuff. This, you know, again, just the fact that it kept track of all that. Um, pretty cool. I'm going to do one more mission. Um, it's really short because I want to show you another thing in particular that there's another level based entirely around it. But we're going to have a little bit of fun here in a minute. So in this one, um, we got to go... Whoa, come on. Frame rate got all weird for a minute. Ah, he just kind of stood there. That was a weird pose. <coughs> oh, who's shooting at me? You. All right. Um, I don't remember what I was talking about. Okay, we got a couple guys over here. We got to get a key. Oh, yeah, we're trying to get a plane. We're trying to get a plane out of here. So, let's grab the key. That beeping tells us we got uh, picked up a key item. Just like in the last level early on, we picked up a key card. Again, really kind of cool. I love this. I love the quiet part here. Kind of just... Just like a good infiltration me, really good infiltration style music. We're gonna go back here. I think it's back here. Oops, again, let me. There's your original graphics. Huh. <laughs> yeah, they definitely rounded things out, made it look a little. I mean, it's still, you know, it's not cutting edge graphically or anything, but it. it look at the mountains up there. Like, you can tell everything is kind of just flat up there now. And they kind of rounded it out, made things look a little bit more natural. Not quite so, like, solid texture-y. Yeah! Look what we got here, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, how do I get in? Yeah! Guess who's got a army tank? Whoa, that, okay, that control's really weird. Hang on. What the hell? Um, why the... How the hell do I control this? I've never driven this before. How the hell do I... Get in the tank... Okay, I'm not able to go forward. Oh shit. Um, let's just chuck these. I should be able to... Okay, the, the controls in the tank... I have not tried the tank yet. Um... Like, I can't... I can turn. I can look. What the hell am I missing here? How do I... I mean, this shouldn't be that hard. I should just be able to go. I would think. Uh, I was going to show you the tank. I, here, I was going to be all cool. See, I can shoot my weapon, but I want to shoot the actual gun. Okay, now it's letting me go. What the hell? I don't... But it's not... I 
I, I want to shoot my big old tank can in here. I don't know why... I remember on the N64 it made sense. I don't want to shoot the airplane at the end of the runway, but... Yeah, this just... It's not controlling right. There's something... Oh, shit. All right, you know what? Get out of this damn tank. Screw it. Okay, now I can go again. Okay, uh... I gotta get out of here, because... Let's just go. Uh, that didn't work quite as well as I had planned. Um, I don't... With the controls, I'm not quite sure why the... Um, why the... I couldn't fire the gun on the tank. Uh, the N64 was a little weird about that, too, but I just remember it working a little bit better, so I don't know. There was something just... I could move sideways, but I couldn't, like, I couldn't drive forward. I don't know. There was something just really bizarre about the way that the tank was behaving in there. Um, let's see. This one... Oh, I don't remember what the objectives were. Something with the satellite. So there's... And you, you do revisit two or three of these levels. Uh, this one you come back to later. The next level you come back to a couple of times with some different objectives... Um, let's see, what is our objectives real quick? I'm not going to play through this, but I just want to see. Okay. Power down. Okay, yep, power down the dish. I think I know where that objective is. Oh, okay, yeah, so there's not too much to this level. Um, this one you're basically just powering down the dish and then getting into their secret underground lab or facility. But there you go, guys. This is a look at the XBLA, <clears throat> long lost XBLA version of GoldenEye that never was. That was very close to being finished in development, as you can plainly see here. Uh, they got a long way in, but due to licensing and whatnot, they were just never allowed to do it. They thought, I think the reason it got so far in development as it did is because they assumed that, hey, you know, like everybody wants this and they thought that they could probably negotiate or, you know, get the licensing through with some work, but it just never happened. So they had to shelve it. And like I said, it just got leaked uh, a little while ago. And this was all over about a week or two ago. I seen it online everywhere. And I think I even tweeted, I'm like, oh, I want to find this so bad. I would love to play this. Um, I did eventually find it. And like I said, since this is not, it's kind of an unofficial gray area sort of a thing. I'm not going to tell you where to get it. You can find it. Um, but... Um, it's out there, and working with an Xbox emulator, uh, it works pretty darn well. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like it if you did. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, at BGFH79, twitch.tv slash illegally cited, and illegally cited.com, and of course, right here on YouTube, so until next time, I will chat with you guys again later.